Hi there, my name's Paulie and welcome to this video. Before I go any further, I just want to say a big thank you to all of my subscribers for their support. I really appreciate it. Thanks heaps. Also, if you enjoy this video, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. So, today we're going to have a look at the differences between fuzz, overdrive, solid state distortion, and tube based distortion. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to feed a sine wave into each of the effects and then look at the result on an oscilloscope. Also we're going to do a spectrum analysis of each of the effects and just see what extra harmonics appear in there that are actually contributing to the sound that we hear at the, as the end result. Also I'm going to give a brief demo with a guitar of each effect so we can hear what it sounds like. So the very first pedal we're going to have a look at is a fuzz pedal that I built myself and it's based on a fuzz face circuit. The next pedal we're going to have a look at is this Maxon OD808 which is going to be our overdrive pedal. The very next cab off the rink is going to be this Boss DS1 and it's going to be our solid state distortion pedal. Then last of all is my tube based uh, 2x12AX7 distortion pedal and this is going to be our tube based pedal. Also I'll show you what a square wave looks like and what kind of equipment actually imparts that uh, sound. So I'm going to use this laptop as our signal generator and hopefully produce a pitch of about 440 hertz which is around an A note. Okay, so we have the oscilloscope running. Let's turn our signal generator on. And we should have a nice clean sine wave up on there. And you should be able to hear a smooth sounding hum in the background. Let's check out the uh, spectrum analysis of it. And all we have is this one bar poking up here. And the main frequency of it is 439.99 Hertz so it's almost very very close to the pitch of A. So let's turn our fuzz pedal on and we can see how the waveform has changed. It almost looks like pulse width modulation. Uh, one half of the waveform, the positive component, is very low and wide and the negative component is very narrow and high. So this produces a pulsy kind of sound and an almost digital or synthy kind of sound from our fuzz. So let's turn the input signal down to the fuzz pedal and see what that does for us. So we can get back to a sine wave and as we slowly turn the input signal up we'll notice that it begins to clip on one side more than the other. This is called asymmetric clipping. Fuzz pedals do this uh, quite well. And then we continue to turn up our input signal and you can see how the waveform changes. and becomes that pulsy kind of synthy sound that is uh, fuzz. So let's check out the spectrum analysis of that. And as you can see, we have our fundamental still there, but we also have second, third, fourth, fifth harmonic there, the sixth seems to be almost non-existent and seventh, eighth, ninth and so on and so forth all appear there. So a fuzz adds a lot of extra harmonic content to our sound. Another thing with fuzz, they react very dynamically to changes in volume and also tone and what I'll do is I'll turn the input volume down so we can see how our harmonic content changes. 
You'll notice that that sixth is now coming up and the fifth is going down. So fuzz paddles act very dynamically to whatever's going into them. You can get a wide range of effects from a fuzz. And I guess that's why they're, they're kind of harder to use and they have their own sound. So let's uh, clean things back up again and we'll move on to the next, next effect. Okay, so the next pedal that we are going to run our sine wave through is the Maxon OD808, which should give us an example of what overdrive looks like. Okay, and this is a typical overdrive affected signal. Uh, it's symmetrical, as in the bottom half of the, v of the wave is exactly the same as the top half, and it is soft clipped which means when it when it distorts it actually rounds the edges off it doesn't actually just cut them off like a square wave or produce sharp edges as, as extra artifacts so let's see how that that waveform comes about I'll just turn the drive all the way down and maybe some of our input signal And here we pretty much have our sine wave. So I'll slowly turn the drive up and you should see it's just starting to clip there, just gently. And as we turn it up further it becomes a little bit more aggressive. So that suggests that an overdrive pedal will let a little bit more of our original sound through than what a fuzz will generally and has a more transparent sound when the effects in in full swing let's check the spectrum analysis so what we've got here is all odd order harmonics so it completely misses the second harmonic and we get a third completely misses the fourth, we get a fifth and so on slowly de de degenerating down to nil as we get up towards 10 kilohertz. Now let's see what happens as we turn the drive down. We just see those odd order harmonics drop down. We'll turn it down a little further. And we basically get to a a clean signal and as we turn it up those harmonics start to appear again okay so let's clean it up and move on to the distortion pedal okay so I'll kick this DS1 in and you can see that it's altered the waveform quite dramatically we almost have what looks like a sawtooth pattern and this is going to lend itself to quite an aggressive sound with these sharp edges and uh, let's see what that looks like and how that waveform has actually come about so we'll turn the distortion down looks like we need to go down a little further for it to clean up and here we pretty much have a clean sine wave. So I'll turn the distortion up slowly. And you can see that it just starts to clip these edges here. And this one is slightly asymmetric as well. The bottom one looks more distorted than the top. And this is because this pedal has been modified and is actually using an LED. So I'd imagine that the LED is doing this here as uh, there is no other diode in the other side, it's just one LED and this would be the op amp clipping up here. So let's turn everything back up again. So 
so we can see that waveform there and we'll look we'll check out the uh, spectrum spectrum analysis of it so as you can see we have a lot of those odd order harmonics again and we do have some even order harmonics appearing there and I might be able to make those stick up a little bit further so you can see them nope but there are some some of those even order harmonics appearing it's not just all odd order harmonics so let's uh, clean things up again and move on to the tube based distortion okay so let's kick in the tube based distortion pedal so instantly we can see that there is soft clipping occurring there are no sharp edges as such although it's a little bit on the sharp side just here and just here on those uh, trailing edges so uh, the characteristics of tube based distortion are soft clipping and asymmetry and we have both of these here if you look at the top of this waveform the way it's clipping and you compare that to its bottom counterpart they're, they're actually a different shape and that's asymmetric clipping and it's characteristic of tube based circuits simply because it's difficult to make a tube react in a linear way which is what transistors generally do the best so let's turn the gain down a little and we'll see how that waveform comes about okay so this is as clean as I can get this and even with it clean there is still a certain amount of distortion happening the waveforms actually skewed which is going to impart extra harmonics in there naturally that the tubes are just renowned for you know that's that's that tube sound or part of that tube sound so let's check out the frequency analysis of all of this okay you'll notice that instantly our second harmonic is there and we have a little third harmonic and just a touch of fourth I don't know whether you'll see that through the camera I'll turn the gain up and you'll see the way this thing reacts so we've got our even order harmonics appearing here and in years gone by it's been said that even order harmonics uh, have an appeal to them to the human ear so I'll continue to turn it up I'll just show you where that waveform's up to actually so that's when it's clipping reasonably hard as we continue to turn it up you notice that those even order harmonics start to drop down and the odd ones start to come up and if we go back to the scope that's that's derived from that shape okay so we'll clean things up again and I've got one more thing I want to show you okay now I want to show you what hard clipping looks like hard clipping is characteristic of the kinds of distortion you get when you overdrive the front end of a hi-fi system or something like that so I, I just want to show you what the difference between that and your distortion pedal is or, or a tube circuit for that matter so we have our sine wave and basically I'm going to turn this up until we basically overdrive the front end of the computer's sound card so here we have the beginnings of a square wave 
in the very early stages. If we keep increasing the gain, it'll end up being a square wave. But as you can see, our, the amplitude of the wave just gets to a certain point and it just doesn't go any further. It just basically flattens off. So as we increase our input, it just continues to square off and eventually we end up with a square wave or very nearly a square wave that's what a square wave looks like and that's how it comes about it's basically hard clipping here is okay. the frequency analysis of the square wave as you can see it's all odd order harmonics all the even order harmonics are suppressed and it's just the odds Okay, so I'll get on with doing the guitar demo now so that we can hear each effect played with a guitar. Okay, I'm playing a Strat. We're on the middle pickup, which is a single coil, and I'll give you the clean sound first. <laughs> Okay, now I'll wind the tone back and you'll hear the difference. It gets kind of more crispy. Okay. Okay, next we have the OD808. Okay, next we have the DS1. Next we have our tube based distortion pedal and I'll give you the bypass first again. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope it's brought you a little closer to understanding the difference between fuzz, overdrive, solid state distortion and tube based distortion. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Have a good day. I'll catch you later.